The leave plan of room specialists has tracked down that, using our new $10 billion toy, it will be a very long time before that undertaking transforms into a reality. On the remote possibility that it goes as planned, the outing to Proxima B will take around 20 years. So, reasonably, it will be a few years before we can insist if there is certain life on that planet. The deep-rooted request of whether we are truly alone in this universe perseveres. The James Webb Telescope has discovered some shockingly human-esque things far away from Earth that lead us closer to the reaction. Our mission for life outside of us has been uncontrolled throughout every human progression, to such a degree that we have a considerable number of media works and speculations with respect to this matter. Our wonder concerning our spot and forlornness in the universe has been consistent. It is ingrained inside us to search for a mate continually, regardless of how outcast-like we might be. We might be getting progressively closer to the answers we really need, but are they truly the answers we are looking for, or are they simply more alarming? Join us as we examine the most recent discovery in the areas of systems and planets on the excursion to find something we likely will not be prepared to notice. Lights far off, specialists have found what could be the most groundbreaking revelation in history. Back in 2021, when the James Webb Space Telescope was scheduled to launch, a very interesting hypothetical question was raised about the capabilities of our technology. The inquiry was whether, later on, our telescopes could distinguish artificial light on another planet, for example Proxima b, the closest exoplanet to Earth. Proxima b, around 4.25 light-years away, was acknowledged to be perfectly locked with a permanent day side and night side, like our moon. A hypothetical innovative development on Proxima b could move force and power from the day side to the night side using photovoltaic cells that make power from starlight. As a result, in a paper with Manus V. Lingam as one of the researchers, it was shown that immense concentration of the day side by solar chargers could be related to future telescopes. Since JWST was further developed, it would permit us to expand our search for artificial lights on exoplanets like Proxima b. Now, the fact that the James Webb Space Telescope did exactly that in 2024, using its higher sensitivity and greater scope of capabilities, is earth-shattering. The JWST might have found the lights we were searching for and possibly hurled us into a new, gigantic wave of human progression. Most importantly, we should delve into the universe of planets and exoplanets to figure out how this was even possible. James Webb's mission explores Proxima b and Proxima b's secrets. Since the dawn of time, humans have contemplated the idea of the universe, what we are, where we come from, and where we go. These are ordinary yet extraordinarily difficult inquiries that humankind has endeavored to answer. When we gained awareness in the time of exceptional technological movement, one ponders whether we are any closer to answering these requests. If you were to ask a philosopher, he could say we are still at level zero of understanding ourselves in the universe. However, Ask a space expert the same question and watch him make the most of his energy as he rushes to tell you the most recent discovery people have made about the universe using their clever gadgets. These instruments, although not given much thought by the ordinary public, are directly an impression of human progression itself. We now have the world readily available, and it's time we push forward and get the universe at our fingertips too. One such method for doing that has been determined by scientists and space experts through the technology we tackle. A specific creation of that technology is now responsible for the new discovery of what might be light on an alternate planet light years away. Yes, we're discussing the James Webb Space Telescope. The James Webb Space Telescope is the creation considered out of the traditions of human endeavors into space to address some ever-present questions. Are we alone? Who's out there? Where do we start and where do we end? This infrared space science gadget has already begun tending to these requests, despite the fact that at first you could get yourself asking what Proxima B is. Proxima Centauri B, or just Proxima B, is sometimes alluded to as Alpha Centauri C. It is a super-Earth exoplanet and orbits an M-type star. Super-Earths could confuse you, but don't stress. This text will settle all your burning questions. Super-Earths are a class of planets that are more enormous than Earth, but lighter than ice giants like Neptune and Uranus. They are truly one of a kind. They can be made of gas, rock, or even a blend of both, and their sizes can vary from two times the size of Earth to multiple times its mass. They really put the super in super-Earth. With respect to Proxima b, 
It is a super-Earth and an exoplanet, meaning that a planet orbits outside the nearby solar system. The first possible proof of an exoplanet was viewed as soon as 1917, although it generated little interest and affirmation. However, in 1992, the first confirmed detection happened, which left specialists shocked. Another exoplanet, first identified in 1988, was confirmed in 2003. As of April 1, 2024, there are 5,653 confirmed exoplanets in 400,161 planetary systems. Of these, 896 systems have more than one planet. These sublime discoveries are surrounding an M-type star. To understand the M-type star, you need to sort out the red dwarf. A red dwarf is the smallest kind of star in the main sequence, hence the name. In the connecting areas of the Sun, red dwarfs are by far the most common kind of star found in the Milky Way. They have extremely low glow, and since luminosity is one of our main tools for planet location, red dwarfs are not so easy to notice. These subtle stars have variable definitions and names depending on their temperatures and sizes. For instance, M dwarfs or M type main sequence stars yield a maximum temperature of around 3000 K, subsequently, getting their name and characteristics. Getting back to Proxima b, its mass is known to be equivalent to 1.07 Earths. Interestingly, it only takes 11.2 days to complete one orbit of its star, compared to our 365.25 days. You can estimate the size of the star Proxima b is surrounding. Amazingly, under the assessment of the entire electromagnetic spectrum, the star has a total luminosity of as little as around 1.6% that of the Sun. Moreover, in the visible light range, its glow appears to substantially dim more. It only shines 5-6% to of the Sun's glow in the visible light range, emitting an extensively lesser amount of light energy compared to the Sun. Over 85% of its emitted energy is in infrared radiation, orbiting about 0.045 to 0.056 Australian dollars from its star. Proxima B's discovery was reported back in 2016. You might ask why Proxima B with a million stars, planets, and worlds? Why are we so focused on this particular celestial body? Well, there are a couple of reasons that add to the clear interest astronomers have in this place. Most importantly, Proxima b is the closest known star to our Sun and, by definition, although 4.2 light-years is a big number to us Earthlings, in the grand scheme of the universe it is a simple blip. Hence, why Proxima b, our closest known star, is high up on the priority list right now. It is part of the triple star system called Alpha Centauri. In addition, although Proxima's luminosity is extremely low, the system itself appears as one of the brightest celestial bodies in the evening sky just behind two others called Sirius and Canopus. Anyway, the most captivating thing about Proxima Centauri b is that it might actually be livable as it falls within the habitable zone. The possible outcomes surrounding the star are endless. And thus, astronomers have taken on the task to explore the depths and limitations of the star's true potential. That's where the James Webb Space Telescope comes in. The four key goals of the JWST are to search for light from the first stars and galaxies that formed in the universe after the Big Bang, study universe formation and evolution, figure out star and planet formation, and focus on planetary systems and the origins of life. As the JWST continues its examination of the said exoplanet, we draw closer to the culmination of these missions. From searching for exoplanets to searching for extraterrestrial life, so what exactly is said? One could ask. Considering that humans have always been an inquisitive species, examining and getting into literally everything that moves and doesn't move, it makes sense that a mission like SETI appeared on such a large scale. Imagine that God has orchestrated a grand vast endeavor, but with a twist of gold. We are tasked with being on the lookout for signals, more specifically electromagnetic murmurs, from civilizations beyond anything we might ever imagine. SETI, short for the search for extraterrestrial. Intelligence resembles the world's most high-stakes game of hide-and-seek, with our planet as the searcher and the vast universe as the seemingly endless hiding spot. It is one of those fields where scientists are like advanced Sherlocks, tuned into radio waves and scouring for that subtle, we-are-not-alone moment. This galactic sneaking around began eagerly in the 1960s. Frank Drake, a prominent astrophysicist, was among the first to detect radio signals from the stars. 
It was a historic moment, but no aliens arrived at his door just yet. However, as you may have guessed, searching for something this big takes patience, and it can span decades of work, sometimes finding very little. No definitive alien signals have yet been found. Despite these efforts, the excitement continues to swell. As the James Webb Space Telescope continues to probe exoplanets like Proxima b, an entire field of hope is emerging. However, will we stumble across actual evidence of extraterrestrial life, or will we simply encounter eerie signals, just beyond our grasp, giving us more questions than answers? The discovery of lights, in fact, could mark the next chapter of humanity's endless search, where curiosity and innovation blur into one vast, thrilling space story. So let's keep searching, hoping to find that confirmation that we are not truly alone. The discovery of lights from distant exoplanets, like those potentially seen on Proxima b, could be a groundbreaking step in answering one of humanity's most profound questions. Are we alone in the universe? As the James Webb Space Telescope continues to scan the skies, its findings will undoubtedly spark more debates, investigations, and perhaps even challenges to our fundamental understanding of life, intelligence, and the nature of the cosmos. The implications of these discoveries extend far beyond mere curiosity. They carry the potential to reshape our philosophical and scientific frameworks. For instance, if we were to confirm that Proxima b or another exoplanet harbors some form of life, it would require us to reimagine our place in the universe. Could life elsewhere develop in ways similar to ours, or would it present an entirely new form of existence? Would it follow the same evolutionary paths? or would its biology and consciousness defy everything we know about life on Earth? Even if we don't find direct evidence of intelligent life, the mere fact that we could detect artificial signals or lights from distant worlds would still have profound consequences. It would mean that there are civilizations out there, at least in the theoretical sense, capable of altering their environments to such an extent that it becomes detectable from our vantage point. This would affirm that intelligent life is not a rare anomaly, but perhaps a natural consequence of certain conditions in the universe. However, it's important to remain grounded and cautious in the face of such discoveries. While the potential for finding life is thrilling, it also brings up the question of what happens next. How would we react to the confirmation of extraterrestrial life? Would we treat it with respect, curiosity, and scientific rigor? Or would the discovery spark panic, fear, or even political conflicts? History has shown that humanity's reactions to new discoveries, especially those that challenge deeply held beliefs, can be unpredictable. Moreover, we must consider the ethical dimensions of our pursuit. If we do discover evidence of life, especially intelligent life, what does it mean for our responsibility as stewards of our own planet? What ethical considerations should guide our interactions with other forms of life, whether microbial or advanced? These are not questions that can be easily answered, and they will likely be a central part of the debate as we venture further into the cosmos. In any case, the search for life beyond Earth, led by instruments like the James Webb Space Telescope, represents a fascinating crossroads between science, philosophy, and humanity's future. The next few years will likely be filled with more discoveries, more questions, and perhaps even answers that challenge everything we thought we knew about the universe and our place within it. The story of our search for extraterrestrial life is only just beginning, and with each new breakthrough, we are getting closer to a moment that could change the course of human history forever.